Hey there guys, this is Jack from Little Jack Place and I'm stoked to bring you another exciting video. With Alien Week in full swing, I figured it's the perfect time to hop aboard an alien ship and venture into the vastness of the Stannon system in search of a location that truly captures that otherworldly essence. Now let me tell you, it didn't take me long to stumble upon the perfect spot. After leaving my hometown of Louisville, I embarked on a thrilling journey, exploring numerous moons in search of that elusive, alien-like atmosphere. And guess what? I hit the jackpot. Welcome to Ita, the fourth moon of Hurston. This place has got everything I was looking for and more. Its landscape, guys, is truly out of this world. But let's dig deeper into what my assistant Michelle has uncovered about this fascinating moon. Take it away, Michelle. Hey, Jack. Here is what I found about the moon Ida. Ida is the outermost moon of Hurston. Its dusty terrain is dotted with tall rock formations and craters from old meteor impacts. Chief Warrant Officer Ida Hurston, 2512 to 2542, was a United Planets of Earth (UPE) advanced special operations soldier who was killed in action during the in the First Tevern War, 2541 to 2546. The fourth moon of Hurston, Ida, was named in her honor. Thanks, Michelle. Now let me introduce you to one of my all-time favorite landing zones on ETA, HDMS Woodruff. This place is more than just a landing zone, my friends. It's a bustling facility where you can buy and sell a variety of goods, including agricultural supplies and medical supplies. But it's not just the trading opportunities that make HDMS Woodruff special. The surrounding landscape is an absolute feast for the eyes featuring these incredible rock formations that transport you to an alien world. And get this guys, scattered throughout the area are these colossal obelisks, standing tall and mysterious. You've got to see them for yourself. One of these jaw-dropping obelisks is situated just a stone's throw away from the landing zone. Its presence is simply awe-inspiring. So when you visit HMS Woodruff, make sure to power down your spaceship and go for a leisurely walk or hop into your trusty ground vehicle to explore this remarkable area. Speaking of spaceships, I've chosen the Bannu Defender as my go-to light fighter for this adventure. It's a remarkable ship with some serious firepower. But let's turn to the Chief, who I'm sure knows a thing or two about the Banu Defender. Chief, enlighten us, will ya? The Banu Defender is a small two-seat combat ship utilized by the Banu to provide protection and fly alongside the merchantman. Its design features both Xi'an thrusters, Tavaran shields, and four Singe Tachyon cannons. As a result, with a lightweight hull, it allows the ship to be agile and fast. Though cargo space is limited, the Defender features modest accommodations for its crew and provides easy access to components. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering how the Banu Defender relates to the renowned Banu Merchantman. Well, Chief, let's delve into that, shall we? Yes, of course, Jack. While the Merchantman boasts a cavernous cargo area, it lacks the offensive capabilities to ward off large numbers of attackers. The Defender is designed to defend and escort the Merchantman, the ship has been around since humanity's first contact with Banu in 2438. It has changed since then. Since the Banu have traded heavily with other species for hundreds of years, the defenders have a patchwork design that incorporates elements of tech from other cultures. In the latest iteration, the shield were originated from the Tavaran's phalanx shield, and the previous human thrusters were abandoned because Xi'an's design has superior performance. This approach highlights one of the key points of Banu engineering. If the technology works better for the overall design, the Banu will use it. Ida's landscape truly has that captivating and mysterious allure. It's the perfect backdrop for a ship meet. Make it an alien ship meet only. The sight of those unique vessels filling the sky would be a spectacle to behold. And to all you viewers out there, I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. 
Thank you so much for watching and remember, I'll see you in the verse, ready to explore and embark on countless adventures together. Fly safe, my friends.